do you think that it ever really worked? I do. Mm -hmm. I think it did work. I think it did work before. It's, for example, uh, and I think it's actually also quite nicely traced within the, within the biennial project, especially with the survey of the caricature work in the Slovenian um, magazines and, and newspapers from the beginning of 20th century. Uh, the media, in, in a way the media evolved technologically, allowed now to see the images everywhere on a constant pace. Even now in this park, you walk here, you have these prints everywhere. Sort of, you, you see this imagery, you see the real landscape, fake landscape, you see Im imagination of the same la landscape painted, photographed in different form of way. So image in itself became less powerful. Uh, so therefore it's the, it's the question of more of a medium rather than the core of the irony. I think the core of the irony never changed. It was always ironic. There were, for example, in, in some context of archaeology, you, you, uh, some of the, for example, hieroglyphs in, in, in Egypt, uh, they were probably ironic. It was probably not, not really a message. It was probably mocking of one pharaoh of another or, or one dynasty of another, but we can't read it now because the context is lost somehow. Um, and now the, we are almost in the same situation as we would be in this archaeology now. The context is lost immediately as the image is produced. And it's reappropriated, misinterpreted, misinterpreted, so on. While in the, in the context of the graphic arts, for example, of the uh, previous times, if you take, for example, mag Slovenian ma uh, magazines that are uh, in the newspapers, the Slavs and Tatars are used in, in the, uh, in the uh, presentation in there, it was basically solemn uh, sources of, uh, of the information, in a way. And that was sort of, the humor in there was taken almost as news, in a way. Something that you would read the everyday agenda of what is happening with government and so on. And then you have this picture, you have this image that, that is produced by the caricaturist as well. And it, it, it sort of was a legit language that was on the same level, presented in the same medium at the same time. Now it's impossible anymore. You can't imagine CNN doing like uh, a sort of um, uh, entrances, entrances in the form, and entrances in the form of the um, uh, the uh, uh, small sketches, for example, in the subject. It's it's not existent anymore. I mean, it's not not that it exists anymore. It would never be able to be shown within this context because I think we are at the time when the medium of presentation of the information is not catching up with specific critical capacity that it has to present. And I think the newspapers of 19th century were more powerful in that sense because they were more of the space uh, sort of where a lot of different things could meet and at the same time they were equalized through that, through that, that medium. While now we have multiplicity of huge amount of different types of media and there is no hierarchy to them anyway. And therefore, uh, the image as a solemn image, for example, a particular very strong message is getting lost in it. It would be an amazing, super witty, incredibly smart message. But this smart message would be just lost in this ocean of floating. That, that, and and it's just not going to get through as powerful as it would be in that sort of, uh, in, that, in the context of historical, for example, involvement of this genre.